why am I getting <laughs> used for Embiid edits? I'm getting, out of all people, out of all people, I'm getting used for Embiid edits. What is this? He had a sleeve on and they wrapped this shit up and he was bleeding through it. He got cerebral palsy now and he blind in one eye. Let this lay down. I don't want to beat the himself up for the rest of Some die for my heavy feet. 3.5 just to help me sleep. I'm sure you'll overcome this. Why is it sad? What the f and he blinds in one eye. Let this lay down. None of these were even the ones that I saw months ago. But we digress. It's a new season. <laughs> new basketball. New season. Same old bullshit. It's going to be the same old bullshit. Okay, so we had our opening night the other night right in oh looky looky. Here's a cookie We played the Bucks. Guess who wasn't playing? <laughs> Guess who wasn't playing the motherfuckers that we talked about months ago that we needed to be healthy and to play basketball now granted I'm not gonna make a whole big set. All right, we lost game one. So what it's a season opener Whatever, whatever. Shit don't really matter. Let's get into like November where shit's really rolling. Sometimes people come out and have horrible fucking games. We've had championship teams come out in their season opener after just whooping ass in the finals a couple of months ago and go out and fucking stink it. So I don't think that that's anything. That's fine. But the same point that we just made, or at least I just made a couple of months ago about, oh, like this is so great. It makes sense to have Embiid with Maxi and we're gonna have it. I get all that, but that is on the condition that everybody is healthy. Now you tell me, when has the last time that Embiid has been healthy? And they're trying to spin it and make it a thing that like, oh yeah, like Embiid, he's not worried about his stats this year. We're not trying to go for MVP. We're not trying to go for a scoring title. We're not trying to reach for anything. Did do, do, you know, we're gonna try to save him and, and bottle him up for the playoffs. Now, where that would, I guess, make sense to other people doesn't make sense to me because to me, that's telling me, all right, you're going to be resting him a lot. Okay. But what season has Embiid just played like straight through and not had games off and not rested? That's been a lot of his career. And that's, you know, uh, whatever, fine, if, if that's what he needs to do. But to me, that always just complicates things once you get to the fucking playoffs. How much is the Sixers going to need to figure shit out when they're playing without you? All right, well, basically, that's the same playing schedule that we've seen for the past couple of years. All right, bitch, right now, we are under investigation. <laughs> the NBA is investigating why Philadelphia center Joel Embiid did not play in the team's nationally televised season opener against Milwaukee. The league confirmed the investigation. It was an open as part of the NBA participation policy that went into effect last season. Girl! And Paul George is also out and he's already injured. Philadelphia also without Paul George for the game. He suffered a bone bruise during the preseason. I don't want to pull up the picture that he fucking injured himself on because it looks nuts. And I don't want anybody to make fun of anybody's injury, but I don't even know how you, how your body looks like that. Granted, like I said, it's just the first game. That's fine. But we're already starting off the season with both of our superstars injured. And with who? Again, like I've said before, Maxi by himself. These two players are notorious for being injured year after an injury, a year after sitting out, a year. It, like, as the years go on, it's only going to get worse. Like, they're aging players. So, and it's fine if pl if those two, pl if you're injury prone, like I'm not holding it against you, that's your body, it's human nature, but it's just like motherfuckers were trying to gaslight me into thinking that I was crazy to not be excited that we just signed another injury prone superstar. And now we're starting the season with both of them injured. Maybe a surprise to everybody else, not for me, whatever. I'm honestly just watching the Sixers for Maxi because I want to see Maxie's development. Our nephew put on some weight and he's big now. So I want to see him throw some of his weight around this season. Pause if need be. But it's also a double-edged sword because it's like, damn, like all this and Maxie is on the Sixers. 
We already have the injury curse on us from the beginning of the season. I can't speak for anybody else that's a Sixers fan and is not a part of Philadelphia. Because over the summer, Sixers fans have been in fucking hysterics of battling this nut-ass franchise from trying to move into Center City. Now, this is exclusively for Philly residents, Philly Sixers fans. If you're a Philly fan, you know, I don't know why you're a fan of the Philadelphia 76ers and you don't live in this fucking for forsaken ass city i don't know why i don't know what 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 would make you dick eat this team for if because you because you you don't even live here that's odd to me but this whole summer has just been taken up of why are y'all trying to ruin fucking center city the state of being a sixers fan is like very bleak right now because it looks like they're going to be moving the stadium into center city and it's supposed to be built in 20 30 31 god willing i won't be living in this fucking city by then and it's just like everything about y'all at least personally is pissing me to fuck off from the way that y'all are handling the team and just the franchise as a philadelphia resident how am i supposed to cheer for a team that's about to rip down and destroy parts of the city for people that don't live here philly is being taken over by fucking property giants and people buying shit and turning it into fucking hipster wall burger bars and shit like that like the city's history is being bought out by big business it's a lot of gentrification happening in different parts of the city and it's fucking destroying the city and now you're going into chinatown so for me as a philadelphia resident y'all are pissing me off on a whole other level besides fucking ball they ran the numbers on how this would affect the city the city's economy property values for how the businesses will survive that are surrounding it and nothing good about it came back we literally have a few hospitals in the area that take that route those streets that are close to chinatown to and from the hospitals it's a very like busy section of the city so what the fuck is going to happen when there's ambulances that need to come through and you have 30,000 fucking people heading into one point of the city? Just to start off the Sixer season, I'm not excited, okay? I'm not excited because I feel like we're just going to be plagued with injuries. As far as the playoffs, I don't know what we're going to do in the playoffs. Look, make me wrong. Make me wrong because the past five fucking years, I've been absolutely right. Make me a wrong bitch. I'll be happy about it. I see the same old story. This isn't the first time that we've plugged in an ailing star to try to save us in the postseason. This isn't the first fucking time. So this is the same story, just another motherfucker in it. And then on top of that, we had the franchise fucking over the actual citizens of Philadelphia. So it's like the state of being a, a Philadelphia Sixers fan is just like, bah. It's like mashed potatoes. It's like, at least for a well, while, y'all may like mashed potatoes. I really don't. It's mushy and like, uh, even if you add salt and pepper, like you would eat salt, pepper, gravy and everything. We don't have all that on the Sixers. It's supposed to be going in November and we'll, ch we'll, we'll check in then. All-Star Game Weekend, it's all up, okay? Because the volume of my voice is going to be on. So, but for, for right now, I'm just going to talk and I'm just going to be calm and I'm just going to see what happens. Because on all fronts, y'all are kind of just leaving a yucky taste in my mouth. Pause. Mm. 